Look at, at the cherry tree in spring. No reduction, no avoidance, no minimization. But all the materials are beneficial. The cherry tree only makes a handful of cherries, actually, but with hundreds of blossoms. And all the materials are designed to go back into the biological system. I think we're not too many. It depends what those nine billion people are doing. The cherry tree makes soil, makes oxygen, cleans the air. It's not toxic, it's not dangerous. No, it's the opposite. It's all nutrition. And what we do, we make the wrong things perfect, and then they are perfectly wrong. If you think about the ants and termites, there's four times as many, but they don't cause the problems because they produce nutrients and not waste. They convert biomass into nutrients, so why shouldn't we be able to do the same? Cradle to Cradle divides products into two spheres, a technical and a biological one. We have to redesign products. On the technical side, we have materials such as metals that can be used forever, like in chairs and wash machines. The biological side, we have products that dissolve back into nature, like cosmetics or the natural fiber textiles. If these two spheres stay separate, the concept of waste will be obsolete. So instead of reducing our footprint, let's rethink for a positive footprint. Cradle to Cradle now becomes a friendly tsunami. Yeah. And hundreds and hundreds of young designers are doing Cradle to Cradle now. I want that the money I give for a product brings positive impact for the society. I'm optimistic because I think everything is going in that direction. It's never too late to stop to make stupid things. Yeah, watch <laughs> your head.